So listed below are the top 10 annual salaries in millions of dollars of TV personalities find the mean, median, mode, mid-range of the given data in millions of dollars. So I'm going to show you how to do this with StatCrunch. So we're going to click this little icon here and open in StatCrunch. There's my data. And so I'm going to go over here to Stat, Summary Stats, and we're looking at columns, right? Select my column. And here's where we can select which statistics we want. Does that for the modes? We can select that. So let me clear everything out here. So if I want to select, I usually almost always do N so I can make sure that um, it just gives me a sense of the data. So the N is the number of elements in my data set. So I'm going to have, it should be 10 here. And then I can press the control button while I select disjoint regions. I don't really want the variance in this case or standard deviation. We haven't learned about that. I can do the median. So pressing control, I go ahead and select median and it shows up over here. It also wants the mode, which is way down here at the bottom, I believe. And I think it asks for the mid-range. Hold on a second. Which we don't use a whole lot. Yeah, it's D. So it, I don't think it has a block for mid-range. Now mid-range, you just take the min plus the max and divide it by 2. So let me go ahead and select, holding control down, min and max. That way I don't have to sort of search for it. And I believe that's it. You can also do percentiles and other statistics here as well. You, we might be able to do one for the mid-range, but it doesn't come up enough for us to worry about doing that. So let's just do what we did. Press compute. There we go. So let me move this over here. The first question says the mean. So I can take that and make sure you look at rounding. Now, um, I often do not count off that much for rounding errors. So type an integer or decimal. So the mean is, and so maybe you put it to two places and they wanted it to just one. I'm not going to count off for that. So you just let me know and I can override that for a homework, I mean for a quiz. For a homework, just, just redo it. It gives you three tries at each part. So 20.55. Looking good. The median, so let's pull that back up. The median is 14.45. We'll check. Looking good. The mode. Now it gives me the mode. No unique mode. So there's no mode. The mode would occur, remember, the mode is the one that occurs most often. So if I had, you know, 236s or 336s, and that was the most, that would be the mode. But there is no mode. And what's the mid-range? So again, the mid-range, we're going to say the min plus the max divided by 2. So I just pulled the calculator up real quick. 8.9, the min plus the max, 37.3, divided by 2. And we get 23.1. Looking good. There are some parts remaining, but that's the parts that I wanted to go ahead and show you.